Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel WebLearnX. This is Virendra Kumar Singh. So today I am going to explain how to uh, configure the Spring Boot security in web application. So let's get started. So today I am going to configure the default Spring Boot security in web application. After that I will discuss about the uh, something more about the security like uh, in memory security in memory uh, security with authentication and authorization then JD, jdbc security and mysql security and ldap security jwt security and all these things so let me open my eclipse sorry so i have one project setup it's a spring Spring security. So let me show you the project details. So in this project, I have added one simple dependency. Let me show the dependency. So I have added only one dependency here. It's a Spring Boot Starter Security. It's a letter from the Spring Boot security. So I have added only one this dependency. There is nothing. This is the web application uh, Spring Boot web. That's why this is the default uh, dependency. And this is the testing de dependency, which is added by the Spring Boot project auto um, automatically. So and uh, I did not add the anything uh, in my application. I have all these things is comment out and in any template I did not add the anything in template and is static everything is blank and I have introduced only one endpoint so let me open the my controller I have created one rest control with the at the rate request control uh, annotation and I have create one endpoint here with the slash when the application up and running and I try to hit with the uh, slash then it will show the one welcome message with the heading format I have introduced here the HTML so this is my default configuration which I did in the Spring Boot security so let me compile this project so let me click on Maven clean project is clean successfully let me build it Click on Maven install. Now you can observe here my project build is successfully. Let me run. So right click on the main file and click on the Java application. Now you can observe here my application up and running on 8080 port. Let me test the application. So let me open a new port. So I have type here 8080 so you can observe here one UI with the security login username and password automatically showing I did not make the any UI changes or anything in my project uh, project but it is introduced by spring automatically when the application is introduced the spring security dependency then spring boot automatically provide the some input and output login UI so but here you can observe it's asking the name and password but what is the name and password how can logging it so when compile this project so you can observe here spring provide one password here so we can try with this password so i have passed the password here but what is the name by default spring security username is user so let me try with the user you can observe here i got the my message but let me open any other url you can observe here it's automatically logged in so how can logged out from this url so as for login spring automatically provide one other url it's a logged out so if you click the logged out then it will show the one mess, uh, button for the logged out when I click logged out then it will 
go for the logged out so this is the default configuration one more thing here how how can override this username and password in default configuration so let me override this user and password and i we need to add the our custom user and password so for override any user name and password in spring boot we can add spring security dot user dot name is equal to any name what what you want here and spring security dot user dot password you need to add your password so i added my username as app and password is test so let me recompile it so click on maven install so my completion is done let me run run this project again maven uh, run java application now can uh, observe here my application uh, again up and running 8080 port but you can observe one more thing here it's not provided any default password second time because i have override the my username and password in property file so uh, it will automatically override my username password with the default username and password so let me run it again now this time i'm going to add my username is the app and password is the test so now you can see i got the result so this is the way how to uh, set up the default configuration in spring boot but there is the one challenge we cannot allow the multiple use multiple username and multiple password with this configuration we can add only single username and password so next uh, uh, next video i i will show how to create the multiple username and password with the spring boot using up in memory security so please subscribe my youtube channel and please share and uh, press the bell icon for the notification thanks and bye